So this is a very important message for you. I've been reading a lot about immunity and this uh, is something I've learned and I really want you to listen to this. So lately I've been reading a lot about thyroid as you know, right? So I've read this book and now I'm reading this book. And some of the things that I've learned and that have really surprised me is the importance of the gut. So the gut is the the gut is the large intestines and some might even argue part of the small intestine but that's your gut and the gut has a lining and this is what I want to talk to you about so what I have been reading a lot of lately is how important this lining is this is your microbiome this is all the bacteria I don't know if you know but 90% of the DNA found in your body is bacteria. Your human DNA is only 10%. So we've actually grown up, evolved with bacteria being part of our ecosystem. And today our guts are getting shot. So why I made this message right now when I read this is I'm in Delhi and the pollution season is approaching. And for everybody in Delhi or everybody in North India, uh, this is extremely important and here's why. So as the pollution season approaches, you're going to have a lot more stress, you're going to have a lot more toxins, and you're going to have a lot more inflammation. So all of these are naturally going to lead your gut to deteriorate. And so what happens and why did thyroid lead me to this is it says that in all cases of thyroid where it is an autoimmune disorder and uh, it always starts with a leaky gut and i've been seeing so many of my friends who have thyroid right now i'm wondering why are we getting this and i'm wondering if it's the fact that we all have a lot of stress we have a lot of toxins everybody in india complains about the toxins in our food chain uh, we have a lot of pollution which is toxins and all of this leads to inflammation and then uh, of course being in India you must be taking antibiotics at least once a year so now that kills your gut it's it, these are bacteria so antibiotics is antibacteria so what happens instead of all the good stuff passing through you also have bad stuff passing through and when a lot of bad stuff passes through that's when the body triggers a massive immune response. It's not able to distinguish between the good cells and the bad cells and you have a autoimmune response where your immune system is attacking your own body. So a lot of people in my readings are saying that um, this is where the body starts attacking the thyroid glands because it mistakes it for this massive overload that is happening. And the reason I'm making this video is, guys, we get so much pollution, it drives up stress. Uh, you know, when you're coughing and you're <coughs> all of that. So you're actually getting inflamed at a cellular level. And then you feel that in your throat when it all accumulates. So, you know, yes, we all know we're having inflammation. So what you really need to do what you really need to do is you've got to strengthen your gut. So find somebody who makes probiotics. There's a few people in Delhi. If you want it from me, you'll have to subscribe to it. I don't like produce it. I'll, I'll start making through it when I have orders. Uh, but you've got to take care of your gut. And uh, Yakult is not going to cut it. Uh, you've got to really go up to have living probiotics from living foods such as sauerkraut, uh, real kimchi, not the Chinese restaurant kimchi, which is quickly made, but the fermented kimchi. Uh, you've got kombucha. Uh, you've got fresh beer if you drink. Uh, you've got kefir. Uh, you've got sourdough bread. You've got unpasteurized cheese, uh, yogurt also. So there's a lot of sources of uh, fermented foods. And really, you've got to start eating them. It's not going to take a while. It's going to take two or three months. For you to build them up and then you can eat less of it but you really got to take care of your gut 
so guys reading these books has really been very insightful for me um, because as I've made messages and sent to people about the thyroid stuff I'm surprised by how many people have developed thyroid it also seems that women who are in their 40s and even men they have thyroid but the younger generation in the 20s they're having PCOS and PCOD so I've really got no idea what is the going on but we have a massive nutritional crisis going on which is leading to so many cases of all these diseases so as this pollution season approaches i just want to remind you do take care of your gut it it can make a life-changing thing you know in case you get an autoimmune disease it's really hard to get rid of also if you do have an autoimmune disease you've got to focus on your gut which most conventional doctors would not be telling you about. Hope you found this video uh, informative and useful. Uh, do click like and do click subscribe. If you have questions, uh, shoot it in the comments below. Thank you.